There's the plating for H deck, order number 697 stroke B36. Consigned to plate rack side. Oh, here, Robert speaking. Look, about those panhead conical deck iron rivets ordered last How week. How many? 50 bulkhead plates, mild steel as specified. Okay, they'll steel be there. Steel plates are going down now, so it's very urgent we have to list them. Angle pieces, sections, and 101 orders are in hand for 697. Drop hammers, electro pneumatic hammers, and steam hydraulic presses are shaping forgings, ingots, and billets. Job number 697. Is up the fella nut spanner ready yet? Light. Draw it out a bit. Looking at it now, but it's done, it? Turn it over. There's a night shift going on tonight, though. pieces, worms for turning gear, boiler manhole doors, connecting rods, flanges, goosenecks for derricks, shafts up to 20 feet long. In the yard, under the shadow of tower cranes and derricks, the 697 begins to grow in her berth. The vertical keel plates have been laid and tank framing is in progress. All over the double bottom, drillers, platers and riveters advance in their squads. to build up the shell. At the stern, massive blocks are piled up to support the horizontal framing. How you fix the top and really slab you watch the very down now. Transverse framing and deck flooring of the tank top is finished. Soon the slender side frames to form the skeleton of the hull will be going up. Back in the works across the way, the plate is shop and smithy. Work on component parts goes ahead. The propeller brackets are now fixed at the stern. The framing has been extended up over the blocks and the rudder post towers high in the air. All over the deck flooring, the black squads advance, while on the ground, besides the ship, huge sections and bulkheads are fabricated and lifted into position.
Well, that's that. Section after section is guided into place and fixed to the beam knees until the hull is subdivided by transverse watertight divisions. While above, the side frames grow higher and work gets more dangerous. So 25% of the framing and plating is worked in and 697 begins to take real shape. And on Sunday mornings, the weeks go by and 697 is no longer just a mass of steel. The forehead end with its triangular tapering bulkhead shows the lines that the side plates will take. On every deck, in the shell, on the keeling, and all over the nearby ground, the work goes on, eight and a half hours a day, five and a half days a week. With her skeleton framing covered by a coating of plates, the Orient Liner begins to show her size, overhanging every worker's life in town and yard, as she stretches her 600 odd feet down towards the water, in which she will ultimately spend her days. All day long, a never-ending procession of workers comes on and off the ship. Under the bilge keeling, more and more shores are needed to support the ever-growing weight as ton after ton of steel comes down from the shops. Come on, we're going to work on deck today. High above, along her sides, the thunder of a hundred squads shatter the air. Royals and five-eighths men, each with their fires and catch lads, paid by the hundred rivets. This time next year, this blooming ship will have seen more blooming sight of the world than ever I'm likely to. Farm trees and natives, just like you'd see on the pictures. I wouldn't mind going on it myself. Queer to think that women will be walking about here, just in silk dresses, and chaps in natty suits trying to keep going. Don't suppose they think of the block that ate the blinking rivet. <laughs> Must be getting pretty near the buzzer. Deep down in the bowels will be housed the high-pressure twin-screw single-reduction geared turbines, designed to give 24,000 shaft horsepower and a speed of 21 and a half knots.
Across the way, they are assembling the six water tube boilers. Are you coming to the club tonight, Joe? No, unless you want to go to the club tonight. In every bay of the machine shops and in the erecting pits, some part of the turbines is being made. Back on the ship, a tail shaft for coupling up with the propellers is manoeuvred down into the shaft tunnel. How are the injection doing? Oh, it's doing fine. Above decks, the superstructure is well advanced. 